How many shortest lattice paths start at 1, 2 and satisfy the given conditions? A ends at 10, 10. On the coordinate plane, I've plotted 1, 2 and 10, 10. The number of shortest lattice paths or lattice paths of length n containing at k steps to the right is equal to n choose k. Let's begin by determining the length of the shortest lattice paths from 1, 2 to 10, 10. To do this, we simply move from 1, 2 to 10, 10 only moving right and only moving up. And we can do this, and we can do this by taking any path. For example, one way is to go right nine units and up eight units. So because we took nine steps to the right and eight steps up, nine plus eight is 17, 17 will be the length of all the shortest lattice paths. For example, if we take a different path, let's say we go up two, right six, up six, and right three, notice how the length is still 17. Again, two plus six plus six plus three is still 17. Also notice for both paths, we took nine steps to the right, which means the number of shortest lattice paths from one comma two to 10 comma 10 is equal to 17 choose nine. And 17 choose nine can be written several ways. Here are three common ways to write 17 choose nine. Let's go ahead and evaluate this on the calculator. This is the Desmos Scientific Calculator. To evaluate a combination, click Functions, NCR, go back to the main keyboard, and enter 17 comma nine. And we have 24,310 shortest lattice paths, which start at one comma two and end at 10 comma 10. For part B, we want to start at one comma two and end at 10 comma 10 and pass through four comma five. So let's clear our previous work. Let's plot the point four comma five. To determine the number of shortest lattice paths that start at one comma two and end at 10 comma 10 and pass through four comma five, we'll first have to determine the number of shortest lattice paths from one comma two to four comma five, then multiply by the number of shortest lattice paths from four comma five to 10 comma 10. So let's first determine the number of shortest lattice paths from one comma two to four comma five. Notice how we have to take three steps to the right or move to the right three units and then up three units. Three plus three is equal to six. All of the shortest lattice paths from one comma two to four comma five will have a length of six, and each path will also have to move right three units or take three steps to the right. And therefore the number of shortest lattice paths from one comma two to four comma five is six choose three. And then we have times the number of shortest lattice paths from four comma five to 10 comma 10. Let's first determine the length. Let's move right six units and up five units. So again, we moved right six units or took six steps to the right and then moved five units up or five steps up. Notice the length is 11 and because we moved six steps to the right, the number of shortest lattice paths from four comma five to 10 comma 10 is 11 choose six. So we have six choose three times 11 choose six. Six choose three is equal to 20. 11 choose six is equal to 462. This gives us 20 times 462, which is equal to 9,240. There are 9,240 lattice paths from one comma two to 10 comma 10 that pass through four comma five. And then for part C, we want the paths to end at 10 comma 10 and avoid four comma five. Well, if we want to know the number of paths that avoid four comma five, we can take the total number of shortest lattice paths, which is 24,310, and then subtract the shortest lattice paths that pass through four comma five, which we found in part B, which is 9,240, and this difference is equal to 15,070. There are 15,070 shortest lattice paths that start at one comma two, and end at 10 comma 10 and avoid 4 comma 5. I hope you found this helpful.